Hello, this is Philips from Plasderms Design Company and this quick tip I'm gonna show you how to prepare your preview video, preview image and thumbnail image for video have upload. Once you're finished your project and you're happy with the final result, you need to prepare several things in order to be able to upload your project on video have. What I recommend is to render out your project in full HD and uh, uncompressed this way you can uh, really check all your animation and see if that works as you intended to do to, to be and also this gives you a high quality file that you can later re uh, compress in further formats to upload uh, to YouTube or Vimeo or whenever and also this helps you to prepare your uh, preview media for for video have so once you render out your uh, your final output, just uh, drag it in into the After Effects. One more thing, what I recommend is to actually create a new project file, because then this project could be uh, uploaded, and you don't leave all the watermarks and other files inside your your main project file. So just drag and drop your uh, your final render instead of uh, dragging it into a new comp import your your watermark uh, watermark files you can download those from uh, video hive uh, there are three resolutions but for uh, for HD videos we use only those two. The third one is for SD videos. So let's go ahead for example with this. Just take it, drag it over to create a new comp. This will create a new comp with the watermark and then just take your final logo, drag it in under the watermark and scale it down either by right click and transform fit to comp or by hitting S and scaling it down manually and that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure your comp is uh, not too long. For example, now my comp is 30 seconds long, where my video is only 10 seconds long. Just hit uh, this button. <laughs> Don't know how to pronounce it in English. And hit the end bracket, which, oh no, sorry, hit N, which will uh, bring in this. Uh, end marker and then right click trim comp to work area <clears throat> and basically you're ready to render in this case my logo is uh, quite I mean my video is quite bright and also the watermark is bright and almost invisible in this situation what you can do you can go to effects and preset and search for invert then apply this to the watermark and what this does it uh, inverts the watermark and it's easier to, to see your watermark and uh, sometimes by doing this you can uh, quickly get your file approved because if reviewer can't really see the watermark he might uh, reject your file and ask you to invert the watermark so this is a good thing to do and also to prepare uh, a preview image a good thing to do is just create a new comp uh, in the right size for the preview image we require them to be uh, 590 by 300 click OK then brought in your uh, final render and scale it down and just by scrubbing through find a nice uh, nice spot that you like and that you would like to use as a as a preview image for example I'm gonna use this one uh, I can hit B and then hit N which will make my composition just one frame long I can then trim it and then of course I can scale it up or down which gives me opportunity to, uh, to position this in the like differently and that's pretty much it you can then add some titles or whatever you want and that's basically is easy way how to create your uh, 
uh, preview image. And for uh, for thumbnail, it's pretty much the same. The difference is you need to create your composition in uh, the right size, which is 80 by 80. Click OK. Uh, make it 100%. Uh, Drag in your final render. Again, scale it down a lot. Find the right uh, the right frame that you want to use. You can scale it up or down as you wish. And once you're satisfied with it, you can render it out. One more thing, what I do. I've added my logo type to every thumbnail. Uh, so my thumbnails are uh, like users when they see my project on Video Hive, they know it's mine because my thumbnail looks different. And uh, I created this uh, transparent PNG, which I can brought in and put it on top of uh, my thumbnail and scale it down from, because in, uh, for some reason, it's twice as big. Probably I created it bigger than it needs to be. So, and, and, and that's all. You're ready to render.